there. Welcome to another episode of Camera Quest. I'm photographer David Miller in the Phoenix metro area, my studio at Primordial Creative. I have been picking up cameras from secondhand shops, checking out if there's anything of value that I could make with them. Uh, a lot of those cameras are kind of like cheap plastic toy cameras. They're Holga types. They're maybe old antique cameras. And I've been putting film through some of them and the film's getting chewed up. Uh, I wanted to try something that I knew was going to make great imagery and that was also a style I felt like I wanted to develop. Something I've done in the past, but I haven't done any of it recently, which is a uh, very cinematic, outdoorsy, natural style. I want to make scenes that are more evocative of movies and not just modern movies, but sort of the things from the 60s and the 70s. Uh, I happen to live in the Southwest and it's a good time of year to get out and enjoy the environment, take advantage of the great landscapes that I have. Uh, but I also want to take some of my favorite models out in these places and shoot them. So I looked into a service called Parachute. It's one of those uh, startups that has a missing letter to it. So it's spelled parachut, but it's pronounced parachute. And they started around 2016. Uh, you have a monthly subscription fee. They deliver you gear. You just keep paying that subscription fee. You can keep the gear as long as you need it. And when you're done, you return the gear. So basically you're not owning anything, you're renting it, but you're renting it without having to pay a credit card deposit for the entire value of the gear, which is great for someone like me because I don't have a uh, really high credit card that I could just rent anything I want from the camera store. $99 a month. I've had this camera for two months now. This is a Fuji 6x9 camera. It shoots medium format film. It's really big, but it's also manageable. It does not have an interchangeable lens system. You have one lens on it. I believe this camera only came out in Japan. Shoots medium format film, but it's a wide medium format film. So basically five times larger than a 35 millimeter uh, frame. It is really badass. I got this thing and just feeling the weight in my hands is like, yes, yes, I can make art with this thing. This is good. It has an unusual way of setting the exposure, which is that your shutter speed and your f-stop settings are both underneath this little lens hood here and there's little rotations to it uh, it's a rangefinder, but you don't have to just guesstimate how far you are from your subject when you look through the viewfinder there's a way of aligning things as you turn the lens so most of the photos that i've taken with it so far have come out in focus i hadn't had a focusing issue when I'm trying to figure out, am I one meter away? Am I five meters away? You know, I live in America. I don't think about meters or centimeters or millimeters. I think about feet. So uh, I'm very happy that there is this alignment system within the viewfinder here. It's got a bubble level. It has three different settings in the back for if you've got 220 film, you can have 16 exposures. If you've got 120 film, you can have either four exposures or eight exposures. Either way, you're gonna get a widescreen kind of image. You're not gonna get square imagery like you would in most medium format cameras. Uh, one of the reasons why I was really into this because as much as I like the square format, I have been working with rectangular frames 20 years and I think that way. And when I wanna do things that are cinematic, uh, I think of the movie screen being like a 16 by nine aspect ratio. So I'm trying to get as close as I can with this film negative. The film that I'm shoving through this is two varieties. One is plain old portrait, which is great for the kind of portrait work that I do. And the other is Cinestill 50D. This is something that I have to order from Freestyle in Los Angeles. It's a really cinematic looking film. It has colors falling in kind of unusual spaces. Uh, feels super retro and because it's ISO 50, it's really clear, and I find myself working with f-stops that are on the lower end. The uh, lowest f number we have here is 3.5, a medium format film. That's a really shallow depth of field. Looks absolutely beautiful with the portraits that I've been shooting. So there you have it, 
my attempts at getting some real cinematic work with this Fuji 6x9 camera, even though I'm talking about how big it is, quite honestly, it's not excessive when you compare it to uh, some of the larger DSLRs that are out there. I've been shooting Fuji mirrorless for the past five years or so, so it is a little bit larger than I'm used to, but it still fits in the same shoulder bag that I use. And you know, if I can get my film and this in there, in fact, at the moment, I'm really excited to just be working with this minimalist form that doesn't have a lot of doodads, doesn't have a lot of choices, doesn't have a lot of menus, but I'm getting really high quality work out of it. That's what I'm really pursuing at the moment. And the fact that I get to be uh, outside in the beautiful environments we have around Arizona, New Mexico, California, working with this camera, uh, this is something that I'm gonna work on for a few months. So hopefully I'll get to share some more images and they'll get better and better and better as I get more familiar with using this camera. If you have a chance, I highly recommend working with the Fuji GW693. If you're somebody who likes to try out weird gear, different kinds of gear, I absolutely recommend looking into Parachute. Uh, you don't have to subscribe to anything to just kind of browse their warehouse. But when you see something you like, you put it in your shopping cart and they set you up with the monthly plan that suits the amount of gear that you already have in your cart. So real easy to work with. I think I got this in about three days. Of course, they're shipped out of Utah and I live in Arizona, so it doesn't take long for something to get to me uh, compared to people who live in other states. But so far, had this camera two months. Works like a dream. Super happy with the service. Hope to share some more images with you in the future. In the meantime, best of luck on your own photography. Talk to you next time.